Good morning, dear Glorians. In today's video, let's try and complete our journey of explanation for the lesson, The Journey to the Great Oz. So, after the cowardly lion informed his friends about the presence of dangerous Kalidas in the forest, the travellers, in a very careful manner, continued with their walk in the dark and gloomy forest. Now children, kindly refer to page number 54 as I continue with the reading of the lesson. So, the lion was about to reply when suddenly they came to another gulf across the road. But this one was so broad and deep that the lion knew at once he could not leap across it. So they sat down to consider what they should do. And after serious thought, the scarecrow said, Here is a great tree standing close to the ditch. If the tin woodman can chop it down so that it will fall to the other side, we can walk across it easily. That is a first-rate idea, said the lion. One would almost suspect you had brains in your head instead of straw. The woodman set to work at once, and so sharp was his axe that the tree was soon chopped nearly through. Then the lion put his strong front legs against the tree and pushed with all his might, and slowly the big tree tipped and fell with a crash across the ditch with its top branches on the other side. So students, here in this paragraph it has been stated that once again for the second time all these travellers came across another gulf in front of them. Now this time the second gulf was very broad and quite deeper in comparison to the first gulf. So, viewing the second gulf, the lion at once knew this time it is impossible for him to jump and go across to the other side of the ditch. With this problem in front of them, all the travellers sat down to think of some way to get a solution to this problem. And just then, to everyone's surprise, the scarecrow suggested that friends, here is this great tall tree standing close to the ditch. So if the tin wood man chops it down, the top portion of this tree would tip off and fall upon the other side of the ditch. Thus, the bridge-like structure created by the tree will help us walk upon it so that we all can safely reach to the other side of the ditch. Listening to the scarecrow's suggestion, the tin wood man started his work at once and as he nearly completed the chopping of the tree, the lion placed his front legs against the tree and gave the tree a strong push due to which the tree crashed and fell across the ditch. Now students, let's continue with the further reading of the lesson. Here they have stated that they had just started to cross this queer bridge when a sharp growl made them all look up and to their horror they saw running toward them Two great beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers. They are the Kalidas, said the cowardly lion, beginning to tremble. Quick, cried the scarecrow, let us cross over. So the Roti went first, holding Toto in her arms. The tin woodman followed and the scarecrow came next. The lion, although he was certainly afraid, turned to face the Kalidas and then he gave so loud and terrible a roar 
that the roti screamed and the scarecrow fell over backward while even the fierce beast stopped short and looked at him in surprise well now in this paragraph it is stated that as soon as the travelers started to walk upon the queer bridge of the tree just then to add in to their trouble they all heard loud noises of the beast when they looked back they saw two kalidas running as fast as they could towards them seeing them run the lion started trembling and all the others got scared just then the scarecrow told his friends to quickly cross and go to the other side of the ditch as they were quickly walking the lion gave a loud roaring sound listening to which the roti screamed out of fear the scarecrow fell down and the two kalidas halted in their place now student let's continue with the further reading of the lesson so in the next paragraph they have stated that but seeing they were bigger than the lion and remembering that there were two of them and only one of him the kalidas again rushed forward and the lion crossed over the tree and turned to see what they would do next without stopping an instant the fierce beast also began to cross the tree and the lion said to the roti we are lost for they will surely tear us to pieces with their sharp claws but stand close behind me and i will fight them as long as i am alive so now what happens children in this paragraph we see that after a few seconds the kalidas realize they are two of them and very much big and stronger even than the lion so they start to run again towards the travelers now children in this meantime all these travelers they manage to go to the other side of the ditch but when they see the kalidas walking upon the tree bridge that was created at that moment they got all the more scared and frightened because they knew if kalidas also come to the other side of the ditch then for sure all the travelers along with the lion would surely you know would die because the dangerous kalidas will surely tear all of them into pieces now in such a problematic condition do you know what the cowardly lion said he said friends i am very afraid of the kalidas but i will protect all of you as far as i am alive i will fight with the kalidas after saying this the scarecrow said wait a minute call the scarecrow he had been thinking what was best to be done and now he asked the woodman to chop away the end of the tree that rested on their side of the ditch the tin woodman began to use his axe at once and just as the two kalidas were nearly across the tree fell with a crash into the gulf carrying the ugly snarling brutes with it and both were dashed to pieces on the sharp rocks at the bottom so students once again the scarecrow who was thinking at that moment how to you know get out of this problematic situation he suggested the tin woodman to start chopping the portion of the tree that was lying towards them within no time the tin woodman started to chop and as the kalidas were nearing to them just then the part of the tree got chopped off completely due to which along with the tree even the kalidas they fell down and were dashed into pieces on the sharp rocks at the bottom 
Witnessing the danger of Kalidas come to an end, the lion said. Well, said the cowardly lion, drawing a long breath of relief. I see we are going to live a little while longer, and I'm glad of it, for it must be very uncomfortable thing not to be alive. Those creatures frightened me so badly that my heart is beating yet. Ah, said the tin woodman sadly, I wish I had a heart to beat. So my dear children, this adventure made the travellers more anxious than ever to get out of the forest and they walked so fast that the roti became tired and had to ride on the lion's back. To their great joy, the trees became thinner and farther they advanced and in the afternoon they suddenly came upon a broad river flowing swiftly just before them. On the other side of the water, they could see the road of yellow brick running through a beautiful country with green meadows dotted with bright flowers and all the road bordered with trees hanging full of delicious fruits. They were greatly pleased to see this delightful country before them. So my dear children, at the end of this story, we notice that these travellers continue their walk and then they see that the forest becomes thinner and thinner with presence of little sunlight around. Further, they also come upon a broad river which they cross by creating a raft and travelling upon it. Next, when they come to the other side of the river, it is here they see the road of yellow brick running through a beautiful country with green meadows dotted with bright flowers and all the road bordered with trees hanging full of delicious fruit. They all were greatly pleased finally to reach and see this delightful country before them. So students, this was all about in this story of the Roti and her friends who overcame a lot of difficulties that came their way. Here at the end of this story, we notice the strong bond of friendship that existed among the travellers. And how they helped each other in the difficult times. So Glorians, this was just a part of the main story. And if you all want to know what happens next in the story, then in your leisure time, you can read this interesting novel book that is The Wizard of Oz. Or you can also view the beautiful movie filmed upon it. Well, with this I come to the end of our today's video lesson. I hope you have enjoyed and understood this lesson, The Wizard, that is The Journey to the Great Oz. With this, I also now present before you this slide which contains few meaning words so you can just have a look at it and if you wish, you can write it in your textbook itself, okay? And if you feel few word meanings are not there in this slide, then you can kindly refer to a dictionary. You can easily find the simple meaning of those words in the dictionary too. Besides that, I would also like to tell you, in the assignment section, also I have uploaded the writing work, okay? which will help you complete the notes for this particular lesson number 21. So kindly have a look at the assignment section and update your work. With this, I take a leave children. Thank you so much and stay safe.